Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. This recipe is for creamy chocolate fudge. It's quick and easy to make and absolutely delicious. You can have some fun with it and wrap it and give it away as gifts if you want to. And it's so unlike the old recipes where you, when you made fudge it took a long time and you had to stand over the stove waiting for it to boil down. Not this one. It is so easy, you'll absolutely love it. And the texture is so soft and creamy. So get started by lining an 8 by 8 inch pan with parchment paper. And you'll only need four simple ingredients. One of those ingredients is icing sugar. And it's a good idea to sift it before measuring. So let's get right to making it. Over a medium heat, melt one generous cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Use a medium sized saucepan to put that in and melt it over the medium heat, stirring it constantly with a large spoon, just until it's melted. Then add one can of sweetened condensed milk. And make sure that your heat is not too high. And while you're adding the sweetened condensed milk, stir it and make sure that you stir it quite briskly so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And only keep it on the heat just as long as it takes for the mixture to start to bubble. And now add one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar. And I take a hand mixer and beat that in really well. At this point you'll have the heat turned off. And continue beating this until it's nice and smooth and creamy. And finally now add one teaspoon of vanilla. And then just beat that in until it's thoroughly combined. Now switch back over to your large spoon and pour it into your 8x8 pan. And then just take a metal spoon and spread it out evenly from side to side. Then I place it in the fridge to set, and that will usually take about an hour. Then remove it from the fridge and run a sharp knife along all four edges. Then simply turn it upside down onto some parchment paper. And just peel the parchment paper off the bottom of it like this. Then I take a fresh piece of parchment paper and place it on top and flip it back over. That's so that I can cut it on its top side. Then I use a large sharp knife to cut it with. There is no rule on how large pieces you need to cut, so cut it in whatever size you like. I'm doing about one and a half inch squares. I think that's a nice size, and then if you want more you can go back for a second one. Man, this is looking really good. So for all you fudge lovers out there, you're going to have to make this recipe. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy this. So who wants a piece? I know I do. And you can wrap this in some parchment paper and fancy it up with a few bows if you wanted to give it away as a gift. So I can kind of show you what that looks like. I just cut a few squares of parchment paper, wrap them in that, and tie them with a few fancy bows, and that's about it, as simple as it is. But this is not likely going to last long enough for you to wrap and give away. Everyone's going to want to eat it on you. But oh well, that's the reason that we make these things, so that everyone can enjoy it. 
Now if you do need to store this fudge, you can put it in an airtight container and keep it in the fridge. So that's as simple as it is. Anyone can make this. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and thanks so much for watching. Now go make some fudge. <laughs>